How's it going guys? Charlie Pete here again, welcome back to my channel. So, an update basically. I've just been away for the past uh, few days, uh, working on a bit of a project that I'm looking forward to showing you guys. Hopefully it'll be out soon at some point, but you'll know it, you'll know it when you see it. So basically that's been my kind of focus for the, for the meantime. So, I've come back home, just ready now just to get some stuff sorted. I need to post out some stuff here. As you can see, there's about uh, 24 items to go. Average sale price of about 25 pound. So that's that's like a that's like a minimal I like to try and aim for. I always like to try and go for like 25 to 30. That's like the main aim because I always enjoy obviously trying to sell for that much because it's obviously a lot better obviously for the sales. It means you work less, but you earn more. So anyway, I thought for, instead of going out and showing you all the stuff, because I had no time to do that this week, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I picked up in the week as well. Uh, when I had a little bit chanting between like uh, breaks and stuff of the project and stuff like that. And I'll show you some of those bits as well. But also I'll just show you some of the stuff that's gone out for this whole weekend. So just about to show you some it. So literally this just sold just now, these pair of Nike Air Flight, G, uh, Air Flight High Trainers. Stuff like that, and they went for so look, yeah. So they went for seventy pound, but they're actually going to Mexico, and so they pay about twenty pound post. So so all together, that's going to go for about ninety pound. Really chuffed with that. That was just literally just turned up as I was recording. So yeah, that's a little bit more to add to the old uh, postage list. So I did get everything out ready for this video because uh, I just wanted to be a bit more prepared. But uh, this sold as I was out this morning. So this is. So here now, this is a John Partridge blazer. So this John Partridge blazer is just like a nice tweed looking thing. I think it's like all wool. It's made in England. Now I normally don't pick this stuff up only because a lot of the time it's not got a really high selfie rate. In particular, this one I bought for like a fiver. And if we can look here, it actually didn't sell for 45. It's all for 25. Don't know why there's an update on here, but Anyway, I took a best off from this one. It's been sitting around for a while, so I thought I'd rather just get rid of it. But if you notice here, like these, these pockets are kind of like shooting. So they say when you go hunting and stuff, it's got that kind of look to it. I don't think it's an actual shooting blazer, but again, it's a nice little style. So I thought might as well sell this one. So as you can see, this is my professional label holder. It just goes under my laptop, comes straight out of the Dymo. So yeah, oh yeah, excuse this mess as well. My kitchen's getting done in a minute, so all my kitchen stuff is in here as well. The next up is this, this John Smedley polo. It's like a women's polo. Now I know these don't go for a lot, but it was like three pound anyway. So for 20 pound, can't really show it again. It, I don't know why I didn't update. Can't even tell you why. But anyway, 20 pound, nicely done. So this is a fine merino wool one. As you can see under here, let me just bring it up. So yeah, the merino wool one is always like a really good one to find. They don't go for loads in the women's category. For some reason, I find the men's ones do like a real, a lot better. Like a long sleeve men's polo goes for like 60 odd pound. It's just like an easy one to sell. It's just a quick seller. This didn't last very long. So I took a best offer again. Next up is this Fideli shirt. Fideli, Fideli, I can't pronounce it. I'll probably pronounce it wrong. Anyway, it's a nice looking shirt. So the thing with this, I found this shirt and another jumper, but the jumper was like a cashmere one, but had loads of holes in it. But I still managed to sell that for like 30 pound. So this one here, I went for 28 pounds i've sold it a couple of times man it's like this one like someone sent it back because they said the sleeves are too small so it came back listed it again it sold in like a what in about a week or something like that all right price again obviously these are kind of lower prices but again i'm just still happy that it's sold so yeah chuff with that one so next up is this charizard figure now i found this in a charity shop i saw it, it had an 80p tab on it 80p for this anyway i sold it for 20 pound um, I've seen a couple of them go for a little bit more, but this one had like a few scratches on here and all over the place. I'm not entirely sure what series it comes from, like if it's like some weird fighting series thing, I'm not too sure. But either way, cannot complain. 80p into £20 is not bad whatsoever. These are Diesel Feo jeans. I always make sure that I check this when I do my eBay research whilst I'm in the shop. When it comes to diesel jeans, certain names are, do a lot better than other ones. Things like Tefar, Buster, uh, Larky, obviously, they do really well. But it's always worth just checking this uh, name here. So these are a cinch back. Obviously, cinch back is this bit right here, like it's like a like a belt buckle on the back of the jeans, and so it cinches it in instead of having a belt. Even though it's got belt loops anyway so yeah so these i picked up for like four pound these sold for 28 pounds so not too bad 
it's just a nice little seller obviously you've got all these nice little details on them and it's a decent size as well so yeah 28 pound uh yeah can't complain with that one now these washington redskins jumpers i think they're a bit controversial nowadays aren't they so i think they're hardest to come by anyway i picked it up for like four pound it was just like a nice standard one just with the embroidered label on the front this went for 26 pounds so yeah that's just like a nice standard one again it's stuff like that which is like basically it's like discontinued now the original red skin stuff obviously they're not allowed to be called that anymore are they? something like that i international sales so this is like a michigan state football college football jersey something something like that i couldn't tell you too much about it but anyway it's gone to money spain it's gone for like 30 pound nicely done it's kind of like got a crop kind of thing i don't know who's going to wear this to be honest it's a bit of a random one to me so yeah this went can't complain it's all good is a in this mean jumper mean i probably said that completely wrong because i know it's like an irish pronunciation anyway this is like a irish wool absolutely beautiful look at that oatmeal kind of style to it anyway these are really hard to come by if you ever see them but anyway these this one in particular went for 60 pound plus like 20 pound shipping absolute beaut really chuffed with that one the dns i think is like a company in manchester so they kind of put their own label on top of stuff but either way it's like a really nice one let me just see what yeah so the actual material is a 30 percent cashmere 70 percent merino wool made in ireland i think it's actually gone back to ireland to be honest i had this for about three weeks um i actually paid about three pound for it it's actually in a shop which obviously didn't know what it was so yeah chuffed with that now the cost is always like a little bit of a favourite of mine. So it's a long sleeve one. It's hard to come by and I find long sleeves do a lot better than the short sleeve versions. But this is like a bright purple one. Uh, size 6. Um, this is an XL or double XL. I'm not too sure. I think it's an XL to be honest. Um, pretty sure it's an XL. Anyway, this went for £37 and it is going to... It's going to Italy. So yeah, obviously someone's got style over there. Absolute beaut. It's one of those sales which... They don't really come about very often when it comes to like polo shirts because they're quite saturated anyway. So when you do get a sale, it's always like a nice one because it must be like the exact size, the exact colour, what the person wants. So yeah, very happy with that one. So all in all, not a bad amount of sales. The average sale price was a decent average sale price. A lot of them were around the £20 mark. So not bad, but again, it's just like basic stuff really. So what I'll do is I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I picked up over the weekend. Over the last few days whilst I was away doing my project. Like some of the stuff is quite decent to be honest. So I thought I'd show you it before obviously I'd go. So I posted these two on my Instagram. But yeah, these are absolutely fine. So this is Lord of the Rings, Battle of Middle-earth 2. Need for Speed Underground 2. Right, right, this is my favourite game ever. Anyway, so these are PC games and they're very, I'll say they're quite rare to be fair. This one is like, not super rare, but rare enough for it to be worth still about £30. There is like a couple expansion packs for this one, which you can get. I think one's called like Rise of the Witch King, which is like the Grail one. But if you get all three of them, like one, two and that expansion, then you can do quite well. Anyway, this one itself, Need for Speeds, they're quite hard to find now. Like Need for Speed Most Wanted, Need for Speed, this PC one. They are really good to find. So yeah, you have to look, make sure it's, it's got the second disc and it's got the um, product key. But yeah, so when you've got all this together, this can go for about 30 quid as well. So I went into a shop basically. I was in a shop for like, for a lunch break for like five minutes. And there's no clothes in there really, there's like a couple of clothes. But then I saw like just down in the bottom, there's like a few games there. I just clocked my eyes on Need for Speed. So I just thought I'm going to have a lot more dabble and see. And then I found obviously the Lord of Rings. So it's always worth just looking anyway. Even if you know that there's nothing in there, it's still worth looking. So this is something slightly different. These are Dasco shoe horns. And if you can see there, they are made in England. I think you can see that. Anyway, so these are random basically. I noticed because it's like, if you look at this front here, this is not a front that we use in like the 2000s or even in the 90s even, I don't think. So I'm guessing these were 80s. But yeah, so I had a quick check because obviously because the name is on him, I wouldn't normally pick up shoe cherries for no reason. But because I saw there's a name, I thought I'd just go, you know, just give a quick little eBay search. So yeah, these are £1, potential 25 for 30. Can't complain. Yeah, so with diesel jeans, I always say look for the name. And in this case, these are the Tefars. So yeah, these Tefars are a slim fit jean. Um, I always have to make sure that it's kind of length all right, if that makes sense. 
the length is okay. So I kind of do I give it one of these in the shop. I kind of like put it against me. I'm like 11 30. I'm a bit of a short one to be honest. So if they go longer than my legs, then I know that they're good to go. If they've been professionally shortened to like a 30, then you can get away with it. But anything shorter than a 30, you're going to struggle with them kind of thing. So yeah, just leave it alone when it's that. Leave it alone when it's like that. But yeah, I find these Tafars go quite well. These are the ones which um, really do well, actually. Like, I think they can go in the 40 to even 50 mark, just depending. Um, you have to look at the wash number as well. There's a, like, a little number here you might not be able to make out. It's like 0837L, I think it is. And it tells you like the stretch as well. So this came like a week too late, to be honest. Like, obviously, you probably guess who's on the back of this. So this is a Juventus top. It's a size small. It's one of these climber light ones but obviously ronaldo's on the back and it's quite a good one it needs a little bit of a clean i think i'll just stick it in a wash one time and it should do it okay but yeah obviously you know ronaldo's moved now so it's still got a little bit of a demand for him i know people who are just like blatant ronaldo fans so they will collect every shirt that he's got and then they can sell them as a collection of like a like a what you call them? like not like a discography do you know what i mean but like a a history of ronaldo if that makes sense so yeah, I'm still chuffed with that one. That one cost me like a fiver anyway. I could probably get that away for like maybe 25, 30 pounds, something like that. Just depending on obviously the market for it. Um, there could be like a bit of a surge, I don't know. So I just have to check and just see like how it works with all that kind of stuff. But either way, a Ronaldo shirt will never go wrong for you. So this is um, a Lola find. For those of you who don't know, Lola's my missus and she's like a she's like a reseller. She's got all the skills, but she like owns her own business and stuff. Anyway, this is a Stella McCartney blazer absolutely beautiful it's like pretty much brand new condition look at that um about six seven pound for it but yeah it's just like a nice standard blazer obviously it's got a nice little trim to it like it's a, it's a ladies blazer but yeah some of these can go for upwards of like 90 pound and up obviously you'll probably see the comps in a minute but yeah this i think was a find of the weekend so this next one is my potential find of the day now i say potential only because i need to make sure that it's not fake do you know what i mean it's one of these where it's high end, so I know that it gets copied a lot. So if I know this is like legit, then I'm gonna be buzzing. But it is gonna be a Commis de Garçon, Commis de Garçon play jumper, something like that. Look at that, absolute beauty. Now I'm not seeing a lot of these as when I've been researching, but the, the material and the feel feels really good. I'm not super sure about the label. When I first saw it in the shop, I kind of noticed like, I thought, mm, it's a bit basic. Like the label's a bit a bit basic, if you know what I mean. Um, so look. But when I look to the wash label, because that's why I was find gives it away. The wash label looks pretty legit. If you look here, it says it's made in Japan. So I need to obviously work out if it's made in Japan, if you all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna say this is like 100 percent real. Do you know what I mean? I can't say that is because if it is, it's worth a lot of money. But again, the feel of it, it feels like basically I picked up a Christian Dior jumper when i was in london like a couple of years ago and it feels like that and that thing was like 100 legit and it feels like really high quality and it feels exactly the same so i am hoping for the best that that's real like like really because if it sells i'd be so buzzed because it's just a nice jumper but again you just gotta be careful with these things i don't want to put something on ebay which would jeopardize my whole account so i'm gonna keep wits about me just gonna have to stay take the emotion out of it just chill out of it and just make sure that it's real. And if it is, then we are a happy customer. There wasn't a lot to talk about today. Like I said, I've been away for the last week or so. So I've not been able to go out and find anything. So next week, I'm hoping to do a few more finding videos just out about in the town and stuff like that. Thanks for watching. Obviously, if you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe as always. Next week, I'll be here again, trying to whip out something nice for you guys. But again, thanks again for watching. Take care and I'll see you again. So peace out.